Hey, it's Nicole from Switch Pros. And if you haven't heard, we just came out with a new app on the Google Play and Apple App Store, which is compatible with all Switch Pros Switch panels, no matter the age. Today, I will be giving you a demo and showing you some of the new features. Once you have the app downloaded, you'll go ahead and open it up and you'll immediately notice the updated aesthetics that we have designed. Similar to our old app, you will scan for local devices and select your panel. And once you've connected, you will go ahead and put your password in. And something new that we've implemented is a Remember Me feature. So when you check the Remember Me box and you log in, the next time you log in, you will not have to put your password in. Now I'll be showing you a walkthrough of the settings. And our main focus was to enhance user maneuverability. So now when you page through the settings, you have a back button so you can get to the previous page without having to go through the entire settings. The first thing I want to explain about the settings menu is the configure switches portion. So now the configure switches portion has its own sub menu. This allows you to jump directly to the function that you want to program instead of having to page through all of the screens. An exciting new feature that we've added is the ability to set an icon for your virtual switch panel. So you'll go to set switch name or icon, click on the switch that you want to set it on and click icon picker. So you have a selection of every single one of the legends that we offer here at Switch Pros. Um, so you'll select what icon you want, click save, exit, exit again, and now your icon appears. An additional handy feature that we have also added is the ability to have multiple panels enabled at once. So the last page of the settings, you will click dual system connection and enable. So then you exit and you go back to your panel and now you have two tabs where you'll be able to toggle between two switch panels um, without disconnecting from one or the other. Once you have enabled the dual panel connection, you will click the second panel and you will connect to your second panel. A new helpful screen that we have added in our app is in the last page of the settings and it is called Summary of Programmed Functions. So this screen shows all of the programming that you have in your switch panel, including the device name, the password, all of the programs that you have set in your switch panel. This allows for uh, easier troubleshooting as well as allows for easy duplication of programming for installers. New systems with a manufacturer's date of April 7th, 2023 will have a new feature called the Quick Actions menu. So this menu allows for the user to set a temporary programming for the switch. This menu can be used for a lot of different purposes. The example we like to use is if a vehicle has rear facing lights, for example, and they're in an emergency situation where they need them to be strobing and typically they wouldn't need them to be programmed to be strobe, they can quickly log into the app and set this as a one-time use. So to set a quick action function for a switch, you're going to pull up the quick actions menu and click on the switch that you want to set it for. So as you can see, you have a strobe function, flash, and dimming. So if you want your output to strobe, you'll click strobe at let's say 50% and then you will click on your switch here and your output will strobe at 50%. This programming will not stick the second time you click your switch. So you exit your screen, that switch is still on strobing at 50%, but once you turn it off and turn it back on, it will be back at the programming that you have it set it at normally. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy the new app. We here at Switch Pros thank you for your ongoing support and patience as this project took nearly a year, but we're so happy with the outcome.